Hi, I'm Vidas Pinkavichus. Today I'm going to show you how to play and master minuet in G major from the notebook of Anna Magdalena Bach. Before I teach you how to play and practice this piece, I'd like you to show the, the form or structure of the piece, how the piece is put together. This piece is written in a binary form where each part has 16 measures and um, at the end of 16 uh, measures there is a nice cadence in the home key of G major but um, in the second part the composer moves uh, to the dominant key of D major and adds uh, an extra accidental of uh, C sharp which is a leading tone of D major and towards the end uh, the composer returns to the home key of G major. This minuet is written in a traditional 3-4 meter and uh, you will now hear the complete uh, performance of this piece. I will play, play it one more one time through without the repeats for you. So this is how it should sound. Now we can start practicing this piece by subdividing this minuet into a manageable fragments because although the piece is quite uh, uh, easy, suited for the beginners of, of keyboard players, uh, but um, you see uh, it's quite long, one page long, so we have to subdivide the piece into manageable fragments and the best uh, fragment, of course, is four measures long, the most useful fragment. So let me start um, uh, by playing uh, for you the first uh, four measures of the right hand part. And we stop here at the beginning of the fifth measure. Uh, this uh, this uh, part is easy, but uh, it's also important that you try to uh, play with the correct articulation, this, this fragment. The correct articulation for the Baroque music like this is called articulated legato, which means that the notes should not be slurred. It's, it's not really legato, but it sounds uh, uh, connected uh, in a singable manner. Bach calls it a uh, cantable manner of playing. Uh, so the best uh, representation of this, of course, is like this. Now, uh, it's easy to understand this, but to, to perform is quite, quite tricky at the beginning. But uh, probably the best way to, to practice this piece is, is just to use one finger first to understand the, uh, the in the articulation. I'll use the second finger. Okay, it's a singable manner. Notes are not really connected, but you can feel the line, melodic line. So that's about the articulation of this fragment. And play, play this fragment now with all your fingers. Try to achieve uh, several things here. You try to play correctly, um, notes correctly, uh, rhythm correctly, 
your fingers should be correct also, articulation should be correct and uh, do this at least three times in a row. Once you do this you can say you mastered four measures of the right hand part. Now let's take a look at the left hand part, that's easy because it moves in a slower, uh, slower motion. It's not as complicated as the right hand part, so the notes here also should be not not uh, legato but articulated legato, um, and now play them uh, at least three times correctly in a row, master this, and then we are ready to 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 play both parts, both hands together. This this uh, fragment. That's how, how you should work. You should work in fragments. You should work uh, one part at a time and then two voices together. Uh, make sure that uh, not only the articulation is precise but also the attack and the re release of the notes is also uh, precise. For example, the very first chord uh, in the right hand, in the left hand. It's easy on the piano to play this chord, but on the organ, very often, we might play like this. It's not correct. It's also not correct. But all three voices, all three parts, all three notes should be sounding together. Exact, precise attack. And the release is also important, that we release the chord exactly together. So coordinate the releases, okay? And then uh, we move to the next fragment, okay? And to work uh, four measures at a time. Okay, then the left hand part from the fifth measure. the articulation. Small distances between the notes. And then both hands together. At the beginning of this fragment you can see the mordant, the, the ornamentation sign. The, it's, it's a mordant uh, uh, and you you should have to you should play this with the lower note starting on the main note C B C or okay this is also an, an ornament at the end of this fragment. Uh, appoggiatura. Appoggiatura means that uh, uh, we should also play this in rhythm, uh, uh, eighth note, and then dotted quarter note. Or okay. Then the beginning of the next fragment repeats exactly how the first fragment. We can play both hands now. different so we practice the, the right hand part alone again the mordant in measure 12 the 13 I'm sorry okay. the, we finish this fragment with the next measure beginning of the next fragment 
it's important that we connect the old fragment with the new and uh, finish on the downbeat of the next measure. Okay, practice this at least three times in a row correctly. And now the left hand part from measure 13. <coughs> starts from, from the, the highest note of the piece is, is a, the high B with the fifth finger and now we practice right hand alone until here, four measures um, notice how I emphasize the meter, three four meter, one two, three, by making the weak beats a little shorter and the down beat a little longer. Like that. Uh, for this reason we have to keep in contact with the keyboard all the time. Uh, keep in touch with the keyboard. Do not lift your fingers of the keyboard. Uh, let them stay and touch and feel. Then you will be able to control the attack and to the release the, your articulation much better. Okay, now measure 17, the left hand part. as well and count out loud the beats one two three one two three one two three one okay like that now both hands together one more time I made one mistake so we have to go back correct this mistake and play at least three times correctly in a row. Like that. Three times more. Then, the next fragment uh, with the right hand. fragment the left hand part is a little more complicated because the beginning of this fragment in measure 20 25 it's a half note and then half note again so it's like a lower voice holding over and then top of the voice so it should be performed this way Okay. 
hands together. Okay. And the last fragment. should start from the upper note on B. So we start on C. Four repetition. And again. together. So that's how you should practice this piece in fragments, separate voices, hands together. When you're ready you can then combine the fragments, two fragments at a time, maybe eight measures, then 16 measures, then uh, the entire piece. So um, I hope you enjoy practicing this piece and I'll see you in the next video.